गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फाइव इवेल्युएट यूजिंग सुटेबल आइडेंटिटीज फर्स्ट सम इज नाइंटी नाइन क्यूब राइट नाइंटी नाइन क्यूब इज वेरी नियर टू द नंबर थाउजेंड सॉरी हंड्रेड सो इट विल बी हंड्रेड माइनस वन होल क्यूब ओके नाइंटी नाइन इज वेरी नियर टू हंड्रेड सो नाइंटी नाइन क्यूब रिटर्न एज हंड्रेड माइनस वन होल क्यूब इट लुक्स लाइक वी आइडेंटिटी a minus b whole cube, right? a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus three a square b plus three a b square minus b cube. This is the identity. Okay, in question number fifth and sixth also we have seen the identity. Same identity we have to use. A is what? Hundred. B is what? One. So a cube means. 100 cube minus 3a square b means 3 into 100 square into b is what 1 understood this is a and this is b plus 3ab square means 3 into what is a 100 into b square is 1 square minus 1 cube means 1 of 1000 1 2 3 4 5 Six zeros, right? Hundred into hundred into hundred, six zeros. Hundred square is ten thousand. Ten thousand into three is thirty thousand, right? Plus one square is one. One into hundred into three is three hundred. Minus one is equal to, right? Now we have to subtract. So after okay doing. Subtraction. First, we'll add this, or we'll subtract this, right? This is uh, what will come nine. I'll do here. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is thirty thousand. This is zero, 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 and uh, this is. And hundred minus three is ninety-seven. So what is left? Nine lakh seventy thousand. Nine lakh, right? Seventy thousand. One ten hundred thousand, right? Nine lakh seventy thousand plus what is three hundred minus one? Two ninety nine. So what is the answer? Nine lakh, right? Seventy thousand two hundred and ninety-nine. Second sum is one zero two whole cube, right? One zero two whole cube. How you add this? Hundred plus two whole cube because hundred and two is near to hundred. That is why we have to add it. Which identity will use here? A plus B whole cube. What is A plus B whole cube? A cube. Plus three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. Here hundred is a and two is b, right? So it becomes right hundred plus two whole cube is equal to a cube means hundred cube, right? Plus three a square b means three into a square is hundred square into b is two plus. 3ab square means 3 into a is what 100 into b square means 2 square plus b cube means 2 cube 100 cube means one and how many zeros right one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakhs right plus 100 square is 10000 10000 into 3 right 100 square is Ten thousand. Ten thousand into three is thirty thousand. Thirty thousand into two is sixty thousand. Plus two square is four, right? Two square is four. Four three is a twelve. Twelve into hundred is right. Two square is four. Four three is a twelve. Twelve into hundred is twelve hundred. Plus two cube is eight. Right is equal to add. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. 
this is sixty thousand. One, two, three, four. This is sixty thousand, and this is twelve hundred, and this is eight. What is the answer? Eight zero two one six one uh, zero. So answer is one zero six one two zero eight. What is the meaning of this? One lakh, right? Six thousand. Sorry, ten lakh sixty-one thousand two hundred and eight. Third bit is nine nine eight means nine ninety-eight whole cube. How to write this? Thousand minus two whole cube, right? Which added bit will use? A minus B whole cube is equal to A cube minus three A square B plus three A B square minus B cube. Here thousand is what A, two is what B. So it becomes thousand minus two whole cube is equal to A cube means thousand whole cube minus three A square B means three into thousand square into B is two. Plus three AB square means three into A is thousand into B square is two square minus B cube is two cube, right? Thousand cube means thousand into thousand into thousand. So after taking one, how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Thousand square is thousand into thousand, right? That will be three into thousand into thousand into two plus this two square is four. Four threes are twelve. Twelve into thousand. Twelve thousand minus eight is equal to look here one ten hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh right. And this is hundred lakh right. So. It will be. I'll write as it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus. We'll multiply this. Three two is a six, right? And how many zeros are there? Six zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus twelve thousand minus eight. Right now, I'll subtract it. Okay, okay, and then I'll subtract and add, and then I'll tell you the what is the answer. After doing the subtraction and addition of this number, is one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs right? This crore right? This is ten crore and hundred crore. This is hundred crores minus sixty lakh plus twelve thousand minus eight. After doing addition and subtraction, okay, there was no place, so I have done. So what is the answer? Ninety-nine crores, forty lakhs, eleven thousand nine hundred and ninety-two. So you have to do this, okay, because here it needs lot of space, but your calculations has to be correct, clear. So this is the way to do the calculations in such types of sum. Example number eight. Factorize first sum 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square. If you look at this sum, this is okay. Actually, the part of answer we have to convert into identity. Again, I am repeating. If you look at this, okay, it is of the identity. A cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. But this is the answer. We have to convert into identity. How to convert into identity? First, I write the identity. A plus B whole cube is equal to A cube plus three A square B plus three AB square plus B cube. If you look at this part, okay, right hand side. The question is of right hand side. Again, I am telling you, okay, this example looks like of the right hand side of the identity. You have to bring the left hand side of the identity. Have to bring, okay, eight A cube. This is a cube. A is cube of what? 2a. So it becomes 2a cube. A cube. 
टू ए क्यूब इज वॉट एट ए क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए स्क्वेर बी थ्री इन टू दिस इज ए नाउ टू ए स्क्वेर इन टू बी इज बी ओनली प्लस थ्री ए बी स्क्वेर थ्री इन टू वॉट इज ए टू ए इन टू दिस इज बी स्क्वेर प्लस बी क्यूब मीन्स राइट डी क्यूब ओनली बिकॉज हियर बी इज बी ओनली राइट Here b is b only is equal to now this is what this is the identity a plus b whole cube what is a here two a what is b b here so it is two a plus b whole cube after two a plus b whole cube two a plus b into two a plus b into two a plus b Again, I am repeating. Okay, this part okay of the example is of the right hand side of the identity. Which identity? A plus B whole cube is equal to A cube plus three A square B plus three AB square plus B cube. So I have converted okay it as two A whole cube, right? Plus three A square B means three into what is A? Two A whole square into B is B only here. See here. Plus three a b square three into what is a two a into b square plus b cube because b is b so this is of which identity a plus b whole cube left hand side what is a two a plus b whole cube so two a plus b whole cube is written as two a plus b into two a plus b into two a plus b yes okay it will take time but okay if you repeat again and again you will find it very easy. Second sum, 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square. Which identity you use here? A minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. Again, I repeat. I am repeating. Okay. If you can see the right hand side of the identity, that is a cube minus 3a square b. Plus three ab square minus b cube. The example is of right hand side, right? So we have to convert it into the identity a minus b whole cube. Okay? So a a whole cube can be written as two a whole cube. See here, a cube minus three a square b means three into a is what two a whole square into b is what b only plus three ab square. Three into what is a? Two a into b square is b square only minus b cube is b cube only because b here is b only is equal to this looks like the identity a minus b whole cube but what is a here? Two a minus what is b? B only whole cube. So two a minus b whole cube as the question is factorized. Can be written as three times two a minus b into two a minus b into two a minus b. Third bit is twenty seven minus one twenty five a cube minus one thirty five a plus two twenty five a square. Right? Use the identity a minus b. Whole cube is equal to a cube minus three a square b plus three a b square minus b cube. Right? This part, okay, the sum is of the right hand side of the identity. We have to convert it into left hand side. Is equal to twenty seven means what? Three cube minus right. 3a square b means 3 into right. What is a? 3. It is whole square into b will be 5a right. Look here. 3 square is 9. 9 5 is a 27. 27. Okay. Into 5. 
3, 27, 5 is a let's check. 27, 3, 3 is a 9, 9 is 27, 27, 5 is a 5, 7 is a 35, 135. 135 a right minus 3 square b plus 3 a b square 3 into what is a 3 into b square is 5 a whole square minus b cube b cube what is b cube 5 a whole cube actually 125 a cube is here but we are using the identity okay it will come in the end. So, this is equal to 3 minus 5a whole cube. 3 minus 5a whole cube means 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. Okay? Fourth bit is 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108b square. Again we have to use the identity a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Right? Now look at this right hand side. The sum is of the right hand side, we have to convert into left hand side is equal to 64 is cube of what? 4a whole cube, right? a cube minus b cube. 27 is cube of what? 3b whole cube. Look here, 3 into 3 into 3 is 27 minus 3a square b means 3 into a square means what? 4a whole square into b. b is 3b plus 3ab square. 3ab square is 3 into a is what? 4a into b square is 3b whole square. 3b whole square. So it is 4a minus 3b whole cube. Because it is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square is a minus b whole cube. But what is a here? 4a. What is b? 3b. So it becomes 4a minus 3b whole cube. Then how to write? Because it is factorized. 4a minus 3b how many times? 3 times because it is cube. 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b. 3 times you have to write. Okay? So this is the end of the sum. Question number 9, verify. First is x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square. Actually, this is identity. We have to verify it. Okay? And these identities are used okay, in solving the sums. We just have to verify the identity. I will solve the first one. Okay, I will write here. x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. What I will do? I will take right hand side and I will prove it. At the end I will get left hand side. I will get x cube plus y cube. For getting LHS I will solve RHS. I will write here RHS. RHS. What is RHS? x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. Now what to do? Multiply. If there is no sign between two brackets means it is always multiplication. Multiply the first term of first bracket into second full bracket. Then multiply the second bra second part of first bracket into second full bracket. See how. x into x square minus xy plus y square. Plus, what is the second part of the first bracket? Y. So, plus Y into second full bracket X square minus XY plus Y square. Now, open the brackets. Open the brackets. Let's see. X into X square. X cube. X into minus XY minus 
x square y plus x into y square x y square plus multiply y now to the whole bracket second bracket x square into y x square y plus into minus minus y into x y x y square plus y into y square is y cube right is equal to x cube I will take this okay plus y cube. I will take like term. What is minus x square y? Like term. Here, this is plus x square y. Now this is plus x y square. This is what minus x y square. You have to like take like terms closer. I have taken. Now x cube plus y cube cannot get cancelled. Minus x square y plus x square y gets cancelled. X y square minus x y square gets cancelled. Is equal to what is left? x cube plus y cube which is equal to left hand side so we have proved x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square plus y x square by taking the right hand side and then solving at the end i get left hand side so this is the verification of the identity x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square Similarly, now we will prove okay the second identity x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square, right? Here also what I will do, I will take RHS, I will take RHS and I will solve it. After solving the last step will be LHS. Let's see, okay, after taking RHS, okay, what is the method of solving? It's same like the first identity. Only here it is negative term, but method is same. First term of first bracket into second full bracket, right? Then second part of first bracket is minus y into second full bracket. Now multiply the bracket. Okay with x, x into x square, x cube, x into x y plus x square y plus x into y square x y square right now take minus y multiply with the bracket minus y into x square minus x square y minus into plus is minus y into x y is x y square minus y into plus y square is minus y cube right is equal to x cube I will bring minus y cube ok here right we cannot change the sign because we are not shifting from any side, left hand side to right hand side or right hand side to left hand side. We are just rearranging. Plus, this is x square y minus, see the like term, minus x square y. This is plus x y square minus x y square. Plus x square y minus x square y gets cancelled. x y square minus x y square gets cancelled is equal to x cube minus y cube which is equal to LHS. So this is okay the way to verify both the identities. Both the identities and verifications are very important. It can come okay in the exam for 3 marks.